Hey y'all, it's your girl Kia Love. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So I'm about to cook breakfast, y'all. I thought that I was going to just eat my meal in that I have. I have, let me put my phone down for a second. Hold on, y'all. Let me set my phone up. I always have trouble trying to set this thing up. I'm gonna set it down for a second so y'all could I could talk to y'all. All right, it might be a little crooked, but oh my hair looks super frizzy, y'all. Oh, my hair is frizzy. Goodness. Listen, listen, this is why I don't rock synthetic hair. This is synthetic, and you see what it's looking like. And just to be clear, y'all, this is not my hair company because I know some of y'all know I have a hair company. If you didn't know, now you know it's called Cavani Virgin Hair. It's called Cavani Virgin Hair Company. I'll drop the link below because you do get a discount if you're from YouTube. But yeah, y'all, I sell virgin raw. I sell virgin. I sell virgin human hair and raw Indian hair. Y'all, my hair is bomb. It's quality. Seriously, y'all. It took me two years to even do a whole quality quality assurance test. So I'm not one of these people that popped up with a hair company, don't know nothing about it, and didn't do no testing or only tested for 30 days. Y'all, I did two years of testing, and I've been in the weave game for like 20 years now at this point, y'all. So don't miss out. No, literally, y'all, though, the other day... <laughs> The other day I was at this restaurant and this girl came up from out of her seat. She was like she was on a date. She got all the way up from me her food and was like, girl, where did you get that hair? I gave her my business card. And she was like, you got some in the trunk? Can I get some off of you right now? I'm like, dang, I ain't got nothing in the trunk, but you can go online and get it. I got it in stock. So, yeah, girl, uh, that day I had in my uh, kinky straight, which I love the kinky straight. But I had it flat iron, so it was like that nice, thick, relaxed um, texture. Y'all, it was beautiful. Yeah, I'm balling a life, man. Go on with it, go on with it. Yeah. Do us. Yeah. So we are coming here with a force. Yeah. Blessing the Arifa, we go to the Nanfoot. Go in a rise on boost. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. We have to give thanks like we're supposed to be thankful. Blessings are coming like fun. I was rocking inches that day. I think I had in 28 inches. Yeah, I had my I had my inches in that day. So, anyways, I just wanted to clear that up because you know I do I, I do have a hair company. So don't mm -mm, this ain't it. This ain't it, y'all. I just needed a quick little hairstyle today. That's all. <laughs> uh, but anyways, y'all, like I was saying about this milling. Um, listen, I was about to eat this milling, this dino milling. As you can see, it looks like a dinosaur egg. But I don't really want that. So I'm actually going to try. I'm actually going to try this. I ordered this. So first of all, okay, listen, y'all. So back when I was a kid, I used to love me some cream of wheat. I actually preferred cream of wheat over oatmeal. But not the runny, watery cream of wheat. I like the thick cream of wheat. And I literally just added butter and sugar and that was good. With some toast, stop it up with some toast, man. It was so good. But, of course, as I got older and started getting into health and seeing what's good for you what's not, I'm like, cream of wheat is not good for you, you know, because whatever. Now, I thought I was done. I'm like, there's no replacement for cream of wheat. Well, about a month ago, I saw a YouTube short. Shout out to the guy that posted it. If I can find his channel, I'll post it below. But he posted a short, and he was cooking this. It's called Phonio. It's a West African grain. I have never heard of it before. Um, but... When he was cooking it, I was like, that kind of looked like cream of wheat. And then I checked the comments and some people were like, oh, I love Phonio. It's like cream of wheat. So I was like, oh, cha-ching. <laughs> cha-ching. So I went ahead and ordered me some. So I'm going to go ahead and try this, y'all. We're going to see. We're going to see what it tastes like. Um, I'm also sipping on some fresh grapefruit juice. As you know, I do juice my own. And I recommend you do too, y'all. Don't go out there buying that uh, store-bought grapefruit juice. Buy you some grapefruit and just juice it. It's it's perfectly fine as it is. No added sugar. Nature knows what it's doing. Okay, y'all, it's so good too. So I'm just sipping on this grapefruit juice. I'm waiting for this water to boil. So per the instructions, it say to boil one cup of water and add half a cup of phonio. Now listen, I'm hoping this one cup of water is not too much, y'all, because... I don't want it to be runny. I will redo the whole thing if it turns out to be runny. Plus, I plan on adding some oat milk to it, too, because I have some milk that I want to use. 
I might not need it though. It might already be creamy. I don't know. We'll see. So once this water gets to boiling, I'll come back and let y'all see what's happening. Okay. All right, y'all. So the water is a boiling. Here is the Fonio. It's half a cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. And it says to stir it in. And it says optionals. I can add a tablespoon of olive oil. But I think I'm going to add some butter. Hold on. Let me grab the butter real quick. Okay. So I'll grab some butter. I'm going to throw that in there. Hopefully that's not too much. It said about a tablespoon of oil. So that's about a tablespoon of butter or half a tablespoon. Because I really think a tablespoon would be too much. So it says to stir that in there. Bring the water back to a bowl and cover the lid. So, I mean, cover the pot with the lid. So, I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm going to let it boil. What does this say? It says, power the lid, one cup of water, add a pinch of salt, stir, cover, remove pot from heat. Okay, so I'm going to let it sit, covered for five minutes. All right, all right, let me take this off the heat. And I'm going to let it sit to the side for five minutes. I'm not going to add no salt because I like to add sugar, but I'll do that at the end. So let's see what's going on. All right, y'all. So the five minutes is up. Clearly, y'all see I did not stir it. Was I supposed to keep stirring it? Huh? Dang, that cup of water soaked it all up. Hold on, y'all. Let me look at this package. Was I supposed to keep stirring it? One cup of water, stir. Add one tablespoon of bring back to boil. Add a pinch of salt. Remove from heat. Let it cover. Buff with a fork. Okay, let me add some milk. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Almond milk left, so let me just throw that in there. And then, if I need more, I'll add some. Now, yeah, come on, man. I like the cream, but not this daggone thick. Hold on. Is this done? I'm going to put this back on the heat, honey. <laughs> I ain't trying to eat nothing that ain't cooked that I don't know nothing about. How do I know if it's done or not? Hold on, let me add some milk, y'all. I got, I got to put, I got to put this phone down for a second. All right, y'all. I had to put the phone down so I could really do what I needed to do. I couldn't. I was holding the pot with one hand and the phone with the other. So this is looking a lot better. I turned the heat back on to like three, and I'm gonna cook it for like two, three more minutes because I just want to make sure it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and add my sweetener though. Um, back in the day, I used to just put like regular sugar, but I'm gonna use some coconut nectar, y'all. This coconut nectar is no longer available on Amazon, and there's a company. Um, a company called Coconut Secrets that um they make good products. They used to make a coconut nectar too, and I actually reached out to them before I bought this one, and they said they discontinued it. And now the only place I've been able to find coconut nectar is from this uh company in the UK, and I'm not gonna pay for no five dollar, six dollar euro coconut nectar just to pay fifty dollars in shipping for it to get over here so if y'all can find some coconut nectar not coconut syrup but coconut nectar please drop it in the comments below please because this stuff is hard to find now i know coconuts are like becoming i don't want to say extinct but there's a lot going on with coconuts right now so not just right now but just over the past few years they're getting harder and harder to access just fyi in case y'all didn't know that so i'm thinking that's why because i'm like what's up what is up so this is the one i i had bought from amazon because it was really the only one that i could find y'all i write my expression dates all the time on stuff just in case it ripped off um it says it's expired <laughs> I just realized that. Oh, well, we're using it today. Lord, please don't let me get sick. Lord, please just let it be. Lord, just like your verse saying in Mark, that you can drink poison and it won't harm you. Lord, please don't let it harm me, Jesus. Please don't let it harm me. Y'all, we're going to rock with this coconut nectar today. I'm going to go ahead and throw it away, though, so I don't use it again. All right, so I'm going to cover it with the top because I do want it to be a little thicker than this. But I think it looks done now to me. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it with the top for like two more minutes, and then I'll come back. <laughs> so y'all I had to laugh at myself listen I'm like let me go ahead and make some toast real quick so I'm gonna want some toast with this so I went to the freezer yeah right because I, I don't ever have bread on hand like that I buy it and I freeze it because I don't use it that often well the bread that I found was some french bread that I cut up you know those long 
French breads that's really long and big that you can get for like a dollar or two at the grocery store, at least in my grocery store. Well, I cut that up and put it in individual servings like I usually do. I grabbed a piece. It's wrapped up in aluminum foil and all that stuff. I open it, y'all, and it's the end piece. I'm like, I don't want the end piece. But you know what? I'm not, I'm listen, I'm just going to go ahead and make this toast, make it do what it do with this. And then, yeah, let's see what this phony old looking like. All right, y'all. So, this is what the phony old looking like. It actually got a little thicker. I did add more. This is a lot. Half a cup makes this much? Oh, I ain't going to eat all that, y'all. That's a lot. That's a lot. Look at all of this. Hold on. Let me show you what this looks like. Look at all that, y'all. Look at all of this. I'm not going to eat all that. That's enough for two people. Note to self, do fourth a cup next time. I'm going to do a fourth a cup of it next time. I'm probably going to need to add more sugar. Y'all, look at my little bootleg toast. Look at this. Look at my little... I just decided to cut it in half so I wouldn't just have the end piece. I can at least get the nice inside. Listen, it ain't pretty, but it's going to work. It actually looks kind of like a heart, don't it? <laughs> all right, y'all. So... Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm actually gonna let me see what it tastes like without adding more sugar. Hold on. All right, y'all. Let's see what it tastes like without adding more sugar. Cause I really want to see if um I'm probably gonna need to add more though. I feel like. All right, let me see my grace. Hmm. It's a lot more grainy than I thought it was going to be like, like sand. It's not as smooth as creamy wheat. And I cooked it. I cooked it longer too. I wonder if I need to like boil it some more. Or is it supposed to just be like that? Hold on. Let me try this again. It's very grainy. Very grainy. Like sand. Um, but it says light and fluffy on the package. But it says light and fluffy on the package. So light and fluffy. Tiny grains. So maybe. And it says it cooks in five minutes. I cooked it for longer than that, y'all. Stirring occasionally three to five minutes. I didn't stir while I was cooking it though. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to decide should I put this back in the pot and cook it some more. Or is it supposed to be like that? Hmm. I think it's supposed to be like that, y'all. Cause I cooked for a long time. Like, I probably cooked it for like 10, 15 minutes. So, I think it's supposed to be like that. All right now, I'm going to say... Right now, I'm going to say it's okay, but I do think I'm going to end up liking it. Just something, it's different. I haven't had it before. It's like, it's very grainy. You can taste the grains. You know how creamy wheat is really smooth? Well, you can taste the grains, but it's tiny. Like it says on the package, it's tiny grains. So, I'm definitely going to keep eating it. It's not gross or nothing like that. I do think I cooked it because it says it cooks in five minutes. I cooked it for longer than that. I didn't boil it the whole time, but I just followed the instructions. So I don't know, y'all. Um... Yeah, so let me show you what it's looking like. So this is what it's looking like, y'all. This is how thick it is. The sweetness is actually not bad. I was going to add some um, maple syrup to it, but I'm about to drink my little grapefruit juice. Eat this phony, y'all, y'all. And yeah. Then I hit y'all back for dinner. Unless I do lunch today, I don't know. In case you don't know, I typically don't eat lunch. I usually only eat twice a day, but I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. So, I'll hit y'all back on the next meal, all right? What's up, y'all? I'm back. It's time for dinner. I decided not to eat lunch today. I figured I wouldn't. I thought I was going to eat like a snack, but I'm good. So, I'm about to eat dinner. So, and just in case you didn't catch my um, last what I eat in a day, I mentioned that I want to start eating more salads and that one of my struggles with salads for a very long time 
has been the dressing because I'm super picky when it comes to dressing. I am a ranch Caesar girl and not all ranches. Caesar is created equal. I am super, super, super picky when it comes to ranch. And I've been trying to get more into vinaigrettes. And I also mentioned how I prefer to make homemade dressings because one, they're healthier because I know what's in it. I know the ingredients that's in it. And then two, I'm a heavy handed person when it comes to dressing, at least with ranch and Caesar. And depending on the ingredients I use, it can have way less calories than the store-bought ones because the store-bought ones are filled with a bunch of crap. Okay, so today I'm going to be making an arugula salad. I love arugula. It's actually one of my favorite greens. I'm going to be making an arugula salad. Y'all, my hair is looking worse and worse. <laughs> I know I forgot to mention to it, y'all. You know, this ponytail is super old. I've had this ponytail for like five years and it's synthetic. It's, I just threw it in the drawer and took it out as you could tell, but it is what it is, y'all. I needed something quick today. So, um... It's a beauty supply synthetic ponytail, in case you was wondering, and it's old. It's one of those you just throw in the drawer and call it a day, okay? But I don't know if I'm going to get to use this again. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so I'm going to be having a papaya salad with on a bed of arugulas with a raspberry vinaigrette. I have some raspberries here. And um, I'm going to eat it with a side of sweet potato fries. Me and my sister love to eat a salad with french fries. It just, it's like perfect when you're not too hungry and I don't know, so... That's what I'm going to be eating. I'm about to put these sweet potato fries in the oven. And then we are going to work on this salad. So as far as the vinaigrette, I'm not following no type of recipe. As you know, I like to wing my stuff. But sometimes I might may look up, may look something up for like a tip. So for example, in my head, I was thinking I'm just going to blend up these raspberries with some olive oil and a few little seasonings and call it a day, like in a lime. But and looking at a few recipes, some of them cook the raspberries down because they say if you turn it into a reduction, it has a stronger raspberry flavor. And at first I wasn't going to do that because I wanted to keep it super raw. But you know what? I think I am going to try to cook it down. I didn't look at their instructions as far as how to cook it down. So I just grabbed that little tip to cook it. So I'm going to put it on top of the stove and just let it simmer and see what happens. Because I do want it to be a little more raspberry flavor. Um... And then I saw that some people use like a vinegar, like white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar... But I'm going to just use a lime for the acidity because I don't really want it to be vinegary. So we're going to see what happens. I hope it turns out good. I hope it turns out good. We're just going to see. Uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Not into wasting time. I was just doing fine. Should I find something new? Or should I be tripping on you? Alright y'all, let's check on these. Oh, the raspberries. Let, let me show you what they looking like. They really did cook down, y'all. What am I supposed to do now? They really did cook down. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what I was expecting, y'all, but they really did cook down. I just don't know how they turn into a syrup or anything like that. Hmm. Alright, um... I don't know what I want to do now. Should I just take them off and then blend them up or should I just take them off and blend them up or I don't know. You know what? I wanted to, one thing I wanted to do was try like some grilled papaya. I'm saying grilled, but I'm really just going to saute some in a pan and just see what it tastes like. I'm not going to do all of it because I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I am going to spray some nonstick spray. I have some coconut oil nonstick spray that I'm going to put in this pan. Now I'm going to saute a few pieces of the papaya. Y'all, 
Yeah, I really don't know what I should do with this vinaigrette. I probably should have just followed the recipe. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put these raspberries in a blender with some olive oil, a lime, and some honey. And see what that tastes like and then adjust if needed. So, yeah, y'all. You know, that's part, of, that's part of the fun of being in the kitchen because you can really create and do whatever you want to do. You know, so let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm just gonna roll the juice to get the roll the lime to get the juices flowing. All right, y'all. So I accidentally burnt my sweet potato fries messing with uh, the raspberries, but you know what? It's cool. It is what it is. Let me show y'all. They kind of burnt. Not too bad, but kind of burnt. Let me check on this papaya real quick before I do this dressing. Before I do this dressing and burn the papaya too, okay? Let me check on this real quick. Y'all, so papaya, I know some people don't like it. I used to not like it, but I love it now. I don't know what it was I didn't like about it. I thought it had a weird smell too, but now I don't feel none of that. What I used to think about it, I don't think no more. I actually really like it. It has to be cold though. It has to be cold for me to really want to eat it. I don't really like it at room temperature. But it has to be nice and firm and cold and it's sweet. It's good, y'all. So anyways, let me go ahead and get to this dressing. And then I may have to take the papaya off. In between that, so y'all may not catch me doing that because I don't want to burn the papaya, but let's get to it. All right, y'all. So I don't normally set my phone up this way, but I'm going to do it just so y'all can see me putting the contents into the blender cup, okay? Raspberries, I don't know if y'all can see them like that, but we're gonna put these in here. So I got the raspberries in there. Let me check on this papaya. So now, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I don't know how much to add. I'm just gonna do like, let's do like, mmm, I'll do like three capfuls. I'm gonna do like three capfuls. Uh, I just put it in here. I just put it in here, y'all. And then my lime, I'm gonna cut it. I'm just gonna start with half of it and see what see how that turns out. I should have did the lime first, and now with the oil, my hands are slippery. Ooh, child, I can hardly hold on to it. It's like a fish out of water. Goodness gracious. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of honey for some sweetness, because if you don't know, raspberries are naturally tart. They do have a little bit of um, sweetness to it, but not so much. So with the lime and the raspberries, it's gonna be very tart. So I'm gonna add honey, but listen. Listen, let me push this cup out the way real quick. <laughs> if you don't wanna eat honey, don't eat it. There's plenty of other sweeteners you can try. I don't even know what I'm doing. This might not even taste good, okay? But I'm doing what I'm gonna do, and that's gonna use honey, so let's do this. Oh, look at that. It looks like some type of, uh, 
I don't know if y'all can see it really good, but it looks kind of like fluffy. I wonder why it's fluffy. All right, y'all, I'm about to dump this in a bowl. <laughs> All right, let me dump this in my measuring cup just when I pour it, it'll be. Look at that. Okay, so that ain't it. Maybe I need to add some water. Let's add some water. Maybe I need to, hold on, let me move my ring light because I don't think y'all can really. This ring light child be getting on my nerves, man. All right, so let's add a little water. While I add the water, I'm gonna whisk it with a fork and see how that go. It's very like interesting. The texture is interesting. It's like gummy bear like. All right, so I'm left handed, y'all. So if it's blocking the camera, I'm sorry. The way my setup is, it's on the left side. So that's why if you ever think my angles are off, it's probably because of that. Because my left, I'm left handed. And the world is set up for right handed people. <laughs> All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. Definitely not dark like I thought it was going to be. Uh, let me try it real quick. But the flavor is good. I think I want to add just a tad bit of balsamic vinegar. I think this balsamic vinegar is going to give me that depth that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little more depth. And also balsamic vinegar has a little bit of sweetness to it. So it's also going to darken the color a bit. So let's see. Well, I didn't darken it that much. Not really. Not really, girl. Not really, home girl. All right, let me try it again. I'm going to add a little more balsamic vinegar. Definitely not going to add no more olive oil. I know that. Y'all see I didn't add not one drop of uh, seasoning as far as salt or nothing. You know what? This is actually good right here. Do I want to add more honey? I'm going to add just a little more honey because of tad. Maybe I should do maple syrup. No, I'm going to do honey. I'm going to stick with the honey. Because a tad bit tart. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see, y'all. I honestly think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. All right, y'all. So y'all see how this turned out? Not exactly what I envisioned, but hey, it is what it is. Um, it does taste like raspberry, which is good. I think cooking it down did bring out the raspberry flavor. I still want like a deep, there's this depth that's missing that I want it to have. I want to add more, bals more balsamic vinegar, but I feel like if I do that, it's going to keep increasing the vinegariness, even though it's a little, you know, balsamic vinegar is a little sweet, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it as is because... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it as is, y'all. Let's put this salad together. You know what? Let's try this. Um, This is the grilled papaya here. Let's try a piece of this papaya. Y'all, my phone is going off. Hold on. I was rudely interrupted. Let me pull this. All right, y'all. My bad. Sorry, I was rudely interrupted. But let me show you this grilled papaya out. This is what it's looking like. Let's go ahead and try a piece. I, I want to try it before I put it on the salad to see what it's like. This is what it looks like up close. All right, let's try this. You know what it tastes like? It's actually sweeter. In my opinion, it's sweeter raw. Cooking it made it more like sweet potato-y. It has like a sweet potato flavor. So I'm glad I didn't grill it all, but I'm glad I tried it. And I don't know where I got that idea from, y'all. I just randomly decided to do that okay so let's put the salad together i'm leaving the dressing as is the vinaigrette and we're gonna see how this all come together okay so i'm gonna add my arugula what date is this arugula this arugula don't look that great All 
greens, y'all. So we got some arugula greens here. One of my favorite greens, arugula. And I like to put dressing on my greens before. I like to put dressing on my, I hope y'all can see with this ring light. I like to put dressing on my greens before I dress the salad, just to make sure there's flavor on the greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on. Okay. Pour that on there like that. And then y'all, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use some of this uh, blue cheese, follow your heart. This is my second time. This is the same one that I used in my last What I Eat in a Day, y'all. And I really liked it. It was my first time having it. So I will definitely be buying this again. It has no soy. It's vegan. Here are the ingredients in case you're wondering what it's made out of. But yeah, y'all, it's actually really good. I actually really like it. And what's funny is I don't think I've ever had blue cheese crumbles in real life. I mean, not in real life, but <laughs> your uh, dairy blue cheese crumbles. I don't think I've ever had them. I just always thought I didn't like them. I know for sure I don't like feta, so that was a no. They had feta, but I was like, I ain't doing feta. I'll do I'll do blue cheese crumbles. I like it. Um, on the last salad, I put it on. It added a nice creaminess to it. It was like a nice creaminess that I really liked. Okay, so then I'm also going to add to add to the sweetness, y'all, I got some chopped apples here. I'm going to put these on. That's gonna help balance out that um, tartness from the dressing. And then of course we got the papaya too, so. And then I'm gonna throw on, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add onion or not, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead. I didn't want like a full blown onion. I thought that would be a bit much, but I do have some um, green onion here that I'm gonna slice up and I'm gonna add that to the salad, so. Let me grab my other cutting board, y'all, cause other one got too much going on right now so other one got too much going on right now so uh, all right let's take this part off that's not looking good but i'm just gonna thinly slice up some green onion because it has a milder flavor than regular onion so i think that's gonna give it a nice bite to the salad I think that's going to have a nice little bite to it. So hopefully it tastes good. I'm, I wasn't sure if it was going to taste good with the papaya. Because papaya and onion just don't sound like it go together. But we're going to play it safe and use green onion. Okay. So let's scoop this up. Throw that in there like that. I just threw it all on one side, child. <laughs> Y'all get the real over here, honey. Everything do not be pretty over here, honey. Okay. Oh, let me see if I turn this brightness up. Is it too much for y'all? Is that better? I'm trying to change this light for y'all. But I feel like it's... If I turn it off, you need some kind of, some kind of light. All right, let's just leave it like this. All right, so I got the green onion on here. And then I also want to add some pumpkin seeds. So these were raw pumpkin seeds that I roasted. So I bought them raw. I soaked them because it's important that you soak your seeds in some nuts before you eat them so your body can get the nutrition from them better. And then I roasted them because I wanted them to be crunchy. All right, y'all. And then the, la the star of the show, the papaya. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Now we got to make this pretty because I got to take a picture I wasn't sure how I wanted to cut it up. I pictured like doing like diced. I pictured myself doing like diced papaya, but then I decided to just do it like this. So hopefully I got enough slices while I'm playing. Might have to cut some more. I don't want to though. Come on, Apple, you in the way, honey. I probably should have just put the papaya right down the middle. So then I wouldn't have to worry about how many slices I got. But y'all, so at one point, I was eating papaya every week. Like, I do. I really like papaya. It's really good. So try it if you haven't tried it. You might not like it the first time you try it, but I really like it. So, I should have put the papaya down the middle, but it's too late. I already did it, so. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, 
this is what it's looking like right now. So let me go ahead and come back to you. Y'all, should I add avocado to this salad? Would that be a nice touch? Some avocado? Hmm. I think I'm going to add some avocado to the salad. I feel like I'm going to need some fattiness to it. So I'm going to add some avocado. Well, I got olive oil though. So that's enough fat. I'm going to leave the avocado out. I'm going to leave the avocado out. <laughs> Y'all, I told you. All right, so I got my sweet potato fries. I put them in a, a tiny little mason jar. And then let's go ahead and just rest the, the rest of this dressing on. And I forgot my grilled papaya. Y'all, why y'all ain't tell me? Why y'all ain't tell me I forgot the grilled papaya? Y'all just going to let me. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm going to. I'm going to add it on there, but I have to take a picture for the thumbnail, and it's just not going to look right if I put it on there right now. So, I'm going to add it on there after I take the picture, but for right now, I'm just going to drizzle the rest of this a balsamic, not balsamic, raspberry vinaigrette on here, and then I'm going to come back and do a taste test with y'all, okay? This is the final product. All right, y'all. I'm telling y'all, um, I don't think people will be realizing how much go into making a YouTube video. So it just be, <laughs> it be a, a lot of different things you gotta think of when you're doing, at least I can speak on the food videos. It's a lot to go into it. So I just took my picture. So let me go ahead and put this grilled papaya on there. Um. Let's see. And then I want to, um, because I already told you the grilled papaya tastes like sweet potato, honestly. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't um, grill more. <clears throat> I say grill more, but just saute more. So this is the final product, y'all. This is the final product. That's the grilled papaya, as you can see right there. Sweet potato fries. I put my little papaya in the picture. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and do this taste test. Let's go ahead and do this taste test. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a piece of the real papaya, the fresh papaya. You know, I like to make sure I grab everything. I got the cheese on my fork, got the grilled papaya, got the fresh papaya. I just need to give me an apple, and then I'm not even finna go. I'm not even finna go out the way to get this pumpkin seed on my fork right now. We just gonna do what I got. Okay, so we got. The grilled papaya, we got the raw papaya, the apple, of course the arugula. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a pumpkin seed. Oh, I forgot about the green onion. Let's put this uh, green onion on here and it's pumpkin seed. I like to put everything on the fork so I can see what the flavors are, what they, what they doing, what these flavors doing together, okay? So look, here's my fork. It don't look that great, but I got everything on there. All right, let me see my grapes one more time. All right, y'all, let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, surprisingly, hold on, let me turn this. I gotta turn that light off, y'all. That light be... <laughs> that ring light be stressing me out, y'all. I'm sorry if I feel like I was rushed this second half, but that ring light be stressing me out. Um, this salad is good, y'all. It's perfect. It's giving me summer vibes. Like, it's really giving me summer vibes. And I actually like the taste of the grilled papaya with the raw papaya. It's giving two different dynamics. And the arugula is so fresh. It's peppery if you haven't had arugula before, but it has like a hint of pepperiness to it, spiciness to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a bold... It's a bold green and it's really good. I taste the pumpkin seeds. It's, it's giving me the nice nutty flavor. The apples, the apples were a perfect, are a perfect sweetness to this uh, vinaigrette dressing that we just made. And then for a little side of extra sweetness, I have my sweet potato fries, which I don't need to try because I already know those are good. Um, I think I'm just going to eat the sweet potato fries like that because I definitely don't think eating ketchup with the fries and the salad is going to be good. So I'm just going to eat them as is. But y'all, yeah, and the green onions. So... All right, y'all. Let me tell you. Let me get back to what I was trying to say. 
<laughs> I'm all over the place, y'all. The salad is good. It's great for summer vibes. Would I make the dressing again with this salad? Yes, I would. It actually worked out really good. By itself, it tasted a little tart, but it's perfect with all of the ingredients together. So like I said, the arugula is the perfect green for this. It's light. It's bold. The fresh papaya is a, the delicious. It already has a natural sweetness as it is anyway. The grilled papaya, I keep saying grilled, but you saw me just saute it on the oven. But the saute papaya is a nice texture too. Like the two papayas have a dynamic, a dynamic thing that's really working. Um, apples, nice crunch, nice sweetness. The pumpkin seeds, nice nuttiness. And the blue cheese. Woo, nice creaminess. So this salad is really good. It all worked out, y'all. So, <laughs> hey. But for real, y'all, I haven't forgot. I still need more dressing ideas. So if y'all have any dressing recipe that y'all really like, because as you can see, I wing, I'm winging it, and I like to wing it. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes it does. But if you have a dressing recipe that you really like, Especially if it's creamy because I'm a creamy dressing girl. Let me know, okay? Also, you can check out my ranch recipe listed below. Like I mentioned in the last video, I actually prefer the mayo version. I actually cook it, not cook it, I actually make it with mayo. That's how I originally created it with mayo. But because I like to be heavy-handed on the ranch dressing, I was like, let me switch it up and do some cashews because it was way less calories with the amount that I was using. So, you can check that out. Like I said, I do not sacrifice flavor for time. So, do not hit me with those one of those dressings. It's like, oh, little little yogurt, little, little bit of herbs, a little bit of lemon. Boom, you're done. Because most of the time, that's not going to cut it for me, especially not with the ranch and Caesar. Vinaigrettes, I'm seeing, is a lot more simpler, and I can just wham, bam, and it's probably pretty good. But creamy dressings, I feel like it's going to need a little more work. And, y'all, I'm super picky. So, but let me know. Y'all, this salad was good. Try it out. Also, the Fonio, the cream of wheat. <laughs> the cream of wheat <laughs> y'all I ate half of it it's very filling I know it probably didn't look like a lot to y'all in the bowl but it was I could tell because the texture was really thick so I knew that was gonna be a lot and it was I only ate half of it I would definitely eat it again in the future like I said I just haven't had it before I'm not used to that texture I was expecting it to be a little more creamier it's definitely grainy but it's very fine grainy like sand so I will continue to eat it and we'll just see if I switch it up next time. So, anyways, y'all. Oh, I forgot to mention the green onion. The green onion in the salad is giving it a nice bite. Not strong like onion, but a nice mild onion bite. So, yeah, I'm glad I put the green onion in there, y'all. Everything in the salad just worked out. It's really good. So, anyways, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all, if I feel like I was rushing this video. But, I don't know. I just, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> My bad. I felt like I was rushing this second half. But, y'all, this dinner was... Let me tell you. This dinner was super quick. You see how quick it was? The, the, the sweet potato fries. Um, The brand I bought literally took 10 minutes in the oven. Um, They're organic. I think it's the Alexia. Alexa something type of brand. It literally took 10 minutes in the, in the oven. And you saw how quick it was to put the salad together. Like, it may seem like a lot with recording, but... This dinner was quick and easy, and it's going to be very satisfying. Quick and easy, very satisfying. So, y'all, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, what I ate in the day. Hit the like button if you did, and also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I post my next video. And you can also hit me up on Instagram. I'm trying to do better at getting on Instagram, y'all. I don't be on there that often, but I'm going to try to start posting a little more. So, But hit me up, y'all. Drop it in the comments below if y'all have any questions. And, and if you have a salad dressing recipe that you'd like to share with me, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all. I don't know what I want, y'all. I know what I want, but I don't, I don't know. Anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified whenever I post, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon because some people have said that they're not getting the video notifications even though they're subscribed. So hit the bell icon and also... Follow me on Instagram. I'm definitely going to start posting more on Instagram. Follow me. Hit me up. Drop a comment in the comments below. Until next time, y'all, it's your girl, Kia Love. Peace and love.